Hello, Antioch. Here we are, week two of the midweek pick-me-ups. And if you remember, last week we talked about how we must keep on pressing. But while we're pressing, there are some things that we must do. And so here at week two, here we are, we must not only keep on pressing, but we must also keep on praying. And many of us are familiar with prayer. And we know that prayer is essential. Prayer is something that we must do constantly. It's vital for our lives. And so while we're talking about prayer, we know that we must pray without ceasing. And so every day in our walk, as we are going through our week, we must remember to keep on a spirit of prayer. I'm reminded in the scripture here we have today, Philippians 4 and 6, that the word of God says, do not be anxious about anything. And that's, and that's good, good enough right there that we don't have to be anxious about anything. And it says, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And today I just want to encourage you that you may be at a standstill. You may be at the edge of throwing in the towel. But God says, stop right where you are and begin to pray. And so, brothers and sisters, I don't want you to think that you are alone here today. Because the prayers of the righteous, they availeth much. And so today, right where you are, you may be at work, you may be at home, you may be in class, but just let's take just a moment and let's pray together corporately because we will keep on praying. So if you will, just keep on praying with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we come here today to serve the enemy. Notice that he has no place here. We command your spirit, God, to rain down right now. God, we thank you, God, because things could have been worse. But God, we thank you for putting us in this situation right here where we are. God, not only are we going to keep on pressing, God, we're going to keep on trusting in you. God, we thank you now, God, for keeping our minds and keeping our hearts, God. But I want to pray, God, that you will continue to give us a mind that stayed on you. God, I'm praying for my brother and my sister, God, that they will understand that, God, you have power that can do all things. God, you have power that could raise the dead and heal the sick. And so, God, we're trusting in you. God, we're praying for healing. We're praying for deliverance. God, somebody's being set free right now. God, as we're praying corporately, God, we pray for the body of Christ. We pray for the body of Antioch. We pray for our leader, God, that you'll touch him in his body. God, we know that pastoring is not easy. And so, God, we come to encourage him as well. God, that you'll continue to touch him in his body. Touch him in his mind, God, that the decisions that he must make, God, that you will give him what you have for him. God, I pray, God, that you will... Sow back into him, God. Give back unto him what he has poured into our church, God. We pray for his family, God. God, that families have to sacrifice having a a dad and a husband as the pastor of a church. And so, God, we pray for the family. God, and we pray for our brothers and sisters, God, that here at the mid part of the week, That though we may have been at a standstill, now, God, we're going to continue to move forward. 
because we know that while we're praying and while we're pressing God, you are there. And so, God, we ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, don't you stop praying and don't you stop pressing. God bless you.